So the first thing that you want to do when it comes to disassembling the Latitude E7290 is to take out the SIM card tray. And the SIM card tray is on the same side as the Ethernet port and it's just here. It's below the uh, micro SD card reader. And what you're going to use is you're just going to use one of these uh, SIM card pins that you get with your phone. You're just going to stick it in the hole where the SIM card tray is, like so. Press down and it, and it then comes away. So to take off the bottom case, the bottom lid, the bottom case, sorry, of the Latitude 7290, what you're going to do is you need to take out eight Phillips head screwdrivers. And they're here, 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 and here. So here we go. I'll just quickly take them off. Now I found these screws really hard to actually come out completely. So I've kind of loosened them as much as I can. And then I leave them in the cover as I flip it off. And then what I'm going to do is I've just got a plastic pry tool and I'm just going to kind of go between the, the case and the actual body of the laptop. And this is a good place to start up here um, at the top right of the laptop where the case is by the screen. And you can see that my lid has come off very easily um, you may and I've already taken it off once so that's part of the reason but when you do it you may just have to run the pry tool round under between the cover and the actual body of the laptop and then it will just snip off like so so once the bottom cover is off we can then take the battery out and the battery and you can see it here this large black uh, rectangle is held in by two screws, Phillips head screws. So you've got one screw here and one screw here. So need to unscrew these first, put the screws in a safe place. And then also what you've got here is you the battery is held in with a plug here. So all we're going to do is the plug, the connector has a black tab for you to hold on to. Just gently pull it up and the battery comes away like so. So the heat sink and fan are all in one unit and here they are here. And the fan is secured via two Phillips screws here and here and then a connector into the motherboard which is here. And then you've got four screws here which are setting which are sitting over the heat sink itself um, and covering the processor. So to make things easier, I think what I'm going to do first of all is take out the RAM, like so. Then I'm going to do the two screws around the fan.
there and there and then four screws around the main part of the heat sink and what's quite unusual about the screws with the heat sink is that in my experience a lot of screws are actually spring loaded but these aren't these are just standard um, Phillips head screws that we're just going to take off so there we go so just be a bit careful because obviously there's the processor there and then over here so hopefully you've got a good view here of where the fan connects into the motherboard and this is the connector that we need to work on so what I'm going to do and this is quite a fiddly one I'm just going to pry it loose with my um, plastic pry tool Just wiggle it each side like so. And there we go. There is the fan and so here is the fan and the heat sink and we can see here in terms of the model it's a sun on EG 540S1 C902 C920 S98 and it's um, direct current 5 volts and 0.4 amps.